What's up y'all? It's your boy Shock Antoine and in today's video we are going to be fishing some really absurd blitzes here on the Cape Cod Canal. Uh, first we're starting out riding around just looking for some action. Now starting out things were looking very quiet and Lou and I are going to have to make some major adjustments. Eventually we'll make the changes and we're going to be on Oh, I got this guy. You might as well open your bail, bro. Open your bail. Open your bail. Stop walking. Open your bail. There you go. If someone starts yelling at you to open your bail, just go right ahead and open your bail. It's the quickest way to resolve the situation. Don't waste time trying to walk over to the person. Just open your bail so that we can quickly resolve the situation. Tighten up. Tightening. I'm gonna throw it in. You're welcome. I'm thinking I had a damn fish, bro. Nice little blitz going on right across the other side in front of me. I am also seeing multiple people hooked up on the jetty, but not on the uh, canal side. They're hooked up on the beach side. Yeah, they're definitely over there. Come on. Come over here. That's probably one of the worst things you want to see. Big fish blitzing on the other side. Wow, still going on. Whoa, whoa! That, that's a big fish. That's a big fish, bro. Whoa! Is it hooked? It might be hooked. The weather forecast for this particular day um, basically was supposed to be better for mainland side. However, when we arrived, it, uh, it was definitely better for the Cape side. I say that to say, uh, had the weather forecast been accurate, we would have started out on cape side this guy has a fish down there let me know in the comments if you um select which side you're going to fish on based on weather conditions
vacío. Yeah. This is the spot where we saw the fish blitzing. So we're going to get set up right here, despite the fact that uh, Bubba is in the area. But uh, he seems to be sticking mostly in front of the people that are on the jetty. So for now, we're going to ignore him and uh, continue to uh, search for these fish. Bubba. I hate you, Bubba. Now, Bubba must have heard me because he came right over, snorting, hanging out right in front of us. Yeah, I see him. One guy sucked up, but look who's coming for him. Bubba. Bubba knows. Bubba just took someone's fish. Look, they took it from him. They taking it out of his mouth. Yeah. I saw the guy lift the fish out the water and the seal was like right on it. Yep. You wanna go down there? <laughs> Wanna go down there with Bubba, huh? The guy's releasing one right neck right there. It's like Lou's on? Looks like a good one. Wow. Guy over there is on too. Okay. Yeah. Bubba hasn't been seen in a while, so we're going to walk the jetty to get closer to the rip and the action. Now, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love fishing on jetties, preferably at the tip. I don't know what it is, but I always find that fishing on jetties is just far more attractive to me than an open beach. Let me know in the comments below 
Which do you prefer? Or do you really like to fish on jetties? Ooh, look at all that action. Look at all the birds, bro. Now Lou is hooked up here, uh, it turns out it's going to be a blue fish, so in a minute we're going to find out what's going to happen. It's going to be blue. Uh oh. <laughs> oh come on. Now some fish started blitzing just to the right of that buoy, however the wind is preventing us from being able to cast uh, close to them. They're closer to the other side, bro. Would be a perfect scenario to have a north bar squid pencil due to the crosswind. I mean, it's quite crazy also to find that uh, the action and the birds are closer to the other side after we've already crossed over here. Lou was able to hook up uh, to a cocktail on top. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about this wind. This is a southeast wind and we're casting northeast. So that, that's a very bad scenario for casting into a crosswind. And it's just terrible to do. But uh, the action was you know, pretty much in that direction, um, closer to the other side. So basically had to give it a shot and uh, Lou was successful. Tyler actually standing there to the right. He actually caught a bass on top as well, uh, but that blitz came a lot closer to, uh, to our side of the pool. Tyler was actually on the other side with us um, to my left, and uh, he also decided to make push on over to uh, the Cape side, which is going to prove to be a wise decision. Peanuts, peanuts, madness, peanuts. Can't even put my rod down. Small fish though. Ha <laughs> ah! Woo! Look at this. Mm. Come on, plug. Please don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. No, not right now. Ah! The plug is stuck.
Oh yeah, come on. Just hitting everything. Just hitting. Just hitting. Oh, I got one. Got one. Right here. Literally right here. Right at my feet, bro. Um, Canal B. Nice icebreaker. That's a nice breaker. Decent. Yeah, I've been coming my whole morning to come in for three days. Thank you, man. Get it, get it. Man, where are the bigger fish? My watch my rod, please. Please watch my rod. Please. Thank you. Matter of fact, let me take the damn thing. Some. It's all right. You go. You go. At this point, Lou and I got split up. He went and followed the bigger fish that was on canal side where I kind of focused on these blitzes right here. Trying to decide which side should I go on bigger fish on this side look at that one. Oh wow oh bigger fish in here much bigger fish in here i was actually looking at multiple fish come up to the surface Ooh, fish chasing it fish chasing it I normally would not be jigging with my plugging rod, but I had uh, my line wrapped around the tape on my casting finger and popped. I did not have enough time to retie, so that's why I'm jigging with my plugging rod. But it is rated at two to six, so it can handle this five and a half ounce uh, canal bait. Now at this point, I'm trying to keep an eye on both sides, the canal side and also the beach side just in case the fish come back blitzing. I like this position that I'm in, but it's kind of risky. Tiny whiny, man. Nice one, nice one. Oh, man, he asked me for a picture. You got your phone on you? I'm 
don't don't down. Whoa. Right. Ready? One, two, three. I'll take another one. Congrats to Tyler. That turned out to be his uh, personal best fish. It definitely was a 30 pound class fish. And uh, I didn't have my scale on, on me at the time and neither did he have one. So we had to uh, guess in it. But that's definitely a 30 pound class fish. So congrats to Tyler. There goes my last canal bait, glued by a bluefish. I mean, just wasn't my day at the moment. Damn, bro. To make matters worse, the blitzes came back, um, but my line popped. I had my Yozuri 3D twitch bait glider on, and I went to cast, and it popped. So I went looking for it, and just could not find it. Given that this was mostly peanuts, I decided to put a bucktail on and uh, try and see if I can hook up again. Worst day ever, bro. Snapped off both of my rocks. Both, both, both. Yeah, I let a, a blue blue my um my canal bait, bro. And then I lost, I lost my my glider. This guy caught a big fish, bro. With the blue on, big fish. Big, with the blue, right there with the hat, the funny hat. Big fish, bro. Big fish. I don't know. I don't know. I was retying. I was retying. To the right, to the right. You get anything? You get anything? Yeah, I got one on top. Not, not a oh, uh, lost my glider, bro, right there. Like, I cast, and all of a sudden, pop. Just pop. You good. Huh? Yeah, right there. Him. Big fish, bro. Big fish. 
pushing close to 30 maybe like 20 something close to 30 it was a, it was a big fish just but just look this hit some hit look down there down there down there down there down there see him oh. you see him whoa this clearly jumped out the water fish clearly jumped out the water right next to the last guy See it right in front of him? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That action seemed to be slowing down a bit, so uh, we thought of another plan. The bigger fish seemed to be heading into the canal, so we started just popping our heads in at multiple spots along the way, all the way down to Bell Road because the rest of the canal was quiet where we found. Just so much bait. Heron fry and peanuts. So what we did, we decided to take a break. We uh, got some food and then we uh, took a nap and decided to come back uh, for the same time that we had it. Like number one is on over there, the lineup, but nothing compares to what's going on over here. This is what I had to do. I had to change the battery to get to all this. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah. Nothing compares to that side versus this side. Just full time action here, man. Dead bluefish. Oh my god. Oh, I hope I can find my plug that I lost this morning. Man, I hate to lay my rod down here. But I have to. What do I put on? What? It's fish right in front of me. Hopefully we won't be um getting cross with everybody. This guy's walking out. Just hit nothing but fish. Oh, oh, do I got one? Nope, nope.
coming right to me. Coming right to me. Coming right to me. Look at this. Fly fisherman. Closer to the jetty, I think, man. Yo, this is a bar. That guy's got the right idea. Fly fisherman. They're like pushing out. Fly fisherman is on. Oh, oh man. I'm getting hit. Got one, got one. Oh yeah. Fish lab. Fish behind. Oh, wait there, bro. Look, 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 look. There you go. Stick him. Nice. Keeper. Shit. Oh, boy. Woo, baby. Get it, bro. Oh, wait out there. Straight out. Straight out. Yeah. Got him! He slabbered! <laughs> oh wow, is the fish right there? Wow, yep. Wow. Woo! My fish behind it. Wow, this, the fly fisherman's on the bar. <laughs> wow. Woo. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to pop. Wow, look at the jetty, bro. That guy's all the way down, too. This fish is not happy. This fish right there. Ooh, nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. 
Hey cutie. Damn. This one, look. The one you gave me. Woohoo! Look at that. Pretty fish. A lot of lice on it, bro. A lot of it. This is on the move. Whoa, look at the jetty, bro. That ball, right? It's gonna cast to it. God damn. Oh, I think I'm... Woo! I'm just keeping it up and yeah, retrieving it. I don't know what I got going on here, but I feel like I'm... I want to get on that bar with him, yo. There you go. There you go. Stick him. Ooh. Stick them, bro. Stick them. Stick it up. No, these guys are snagging the fish, dude. Oh, really? Your fish right there. <laughs> the guy's running, bro. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, nice one, nice one. Wow, look at that in the corner. Woo! Look at that, bro. Uh oh, I'm wrapped. I am wrapped. All right, I'm gonna come with you. Definitely. Just gotta try not to crowd that guy, though. You know? Yeah. Guys over there snagging the fish instead of trying to catch them. You gotta kinda stay away from his whip though. Oh, there's a buoy there. There's a buoy there. Hit the corner.
We're like inside of the blitz. We are completely surrounded here. I've got bass and peanut bunker uh, blitzing to my right, to my left, behind us. I mean, I'm looking all over the place because I see the fish, I see the bait, and I'm just trying to get the best shot. Now, in a little bit, I'm going to make somewhat of an error. Uh, I'm going to forget to take my lens off of my GoPro before sticking it underneath the water. And uh, that's going to create some uh, picture quality and sound quality issues. So um, I must apologize for that. Kind of a heat of a moment kind of thing where I wasn't really thinking about taking the lens off first. So I must apologize again. running all around me. I was quite amazed at the sound that that made the bunker running and also the sound of the bass going by pretty amazing stuff and this is what I meant about not taking Ooh. the lens off now we have to kind of look through water that's trapped between the lens and the GoPro Where'd it go? Where'd it go, bro? Oh, wow. They're behind us, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb one out. Oh, look, right there, right there, right there. Oh, that's his fish. To the right, maybe? Oh yeah, I got one. Got one. Got him. Fly fisherman is on too. What is that, bro? It's like a good one. Got a lot of bait with him. Lose on. Whoa. Oh, 
Come here, Baba. Yes. Yes. Oh. Don't stab me. I'm talking about. Been hit already. Oh, right, right there, right there, right there. Oh, pull this bait, pull this bait. Woohoo! Look at this. Blue's on. Fish is on mine. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Came right out of his mouth. Came right out of its mouth. Like it had it, but I didn't have the hook. There you go. Snatch him. <laughs> oh, got to hit ready. Oh, man, your fish is right in front of me. Oh, God. Right among us, bro. Right here. In the wave. They're in the wave. next to me, right next to the jetty. Oh. Come on. Oh. It got him. Got him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smaller fish. Oh. Don't hit me with your tail. Don't do it. Which way did he go? Fish rushing in. Covered. 
Yeah, the water became very dirty. We were having a problem with these uh, dreadlock looking things kept getting stuck on our doors. But as the day goes on, it's going to get worse and worse. It's kind of one of those days, if you didn't have waiters, you get in anyway. Passed it right in front of us, bro. I don't understand. Yeah, Lou and I kept trying to uh, look back to see if we can keep an eye on our rods because we have a couple of thousand dollars worth of equipment there on the beach and more and more people are arriving. So we're just periodically looking back to uh, make sure nobody's walking away with them. Oh no, okay. It's right next to the dog. Oh, got one. Oh, oh. <sighs> it's right to the left of the dog, the people with the dog. Surprise, surprise, you're hooked. Ah, oh, come. Oh, by the way, while I was walking over, number one at Pitts was hooked up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, well, if this slows down, why not? I don't see why not, but... Fish right in front of us. And given that the bigger fish was on the canal side this morning, that's always going to be on our minds. Uh, but again, I would still just like to keep an eye on the beach and the canal side. So I wanted to kind of stay in uh, the pocket on each side. No, they're still there. Whoa, you heard that? Yeah, a few of the guys that were fishing around us were getting a bit antsy that the fish may have left. But uh, Lou and I knew better. We knew that the fish were still around. We decided to go and check the canal side anyway and came right back because uh, the action was still going on on the beach side. While walking up, I found this head of a striped bass with this huge pencil stuck in its mouth and gill plate. I cut that thing right off and said, wow, I like this. Quick battery change and uh, still more fishing on the canal side because uh, people were hooking up on each side. Uh, but one thing I noticed here, it seemed like the later it got, the more and more people started showing up. I mean, I guess word is getting around that this is taking place, but I mean, this is quite crazy how many people just started showing up out of nowhere as it's happening. Good. Nice. Real nice. Whoa, it's big fish out there. I'm clearly seeing the signs of uh, some big fish breaking further out.
Oh! It became quite difficult to catch anything because of the water. Uh, the water was very dirty. It's like I had this dreadlock looking stuff, these terrible weeds, anything you threw in was basically coming yep. back with garbage all over it. But even so, the fish didn't care. I mean, they were still there uh, feeding ferociously on a lot of the, the peanuts that were there. You can clearly see the fish still uh, breaking. Mm -hmm. I want this water to get higher, bro. I want this water to get higher so I can throw it towards the, um, the fish line. As you can see, it's getting darker and uh, this is still going on and people are still showing up. I mean, guys are getting in the water right next to the jetty and there's so many people there. It's just a bad recipe for lines to be crossed. We need deeper water, bro. how these fish will uh, were blitzing pretty much all day 
man, Lou and I started to wonder or think that, man, this looks like it's going to be going on for quite some time. And even uh, there was a photo that's been going around of what it looked like on the jetty the very next morning. It was just madness. It was pretty much a line where you just could not get on the jetty. More than likely, this was our last trip of 2023 uh, to the canal. Uh, the fall run is upon us and we're going to be starting our hunts up on, uh, the, on Long Island where we would normally be fishing for the fall. If you've enjoyed these videos, uh, consider subscribing. And if you would like to look at them over and over again, feel free to. I have made a playlist entitled Cape Cod Canal video so that you can catch up on any of the videos uh, that I've made that you previously have missed. All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Please continue to subscribe and like the videos. Have a blessed day and peace out.